Now I want you to pay attention to everything I'm about to say. I want you to write down your fears in a blank piece of paper and what you're proud of on the other. Now compare and contrast and tell me what you see. I think Brent is uh, quite a special place. It's very like, it's a bit of a melting pot, different cultures and backgrounds and races that kind of all exist in very close proximity. I wouldn't be where I was if I wasn't a cancer tent. So many cultures together, so many countries together, so many people. I'm 103 in a month's time. And I was in England when I was before I was 18. Just the fact that you knew your neighbours left and right. That's what I love about it the most, got everything right here, basically. I love the community, I love everything about it, to tell you the truth. I went to school within the borough, I got into trouble in the borough. The people here are so supportive. Yeah, if I didn't live in Brent, I probably wouldn't be thriving as a, a young black creative artist. The people that worked with the council and with the youth services um, supported me to where I am now. We've already started the programme. Lots of people have already moved into fantastic homes. And we now have a target of 1,000 new council homes to be built over the next five years. These are going to be good quality, you know, spacious homes that people can raise their families in and be proud to live in. Because if your fears are way more than your achievements, then ask yourself, why could this be? Is it because your teacher told you to be realistic about your dreams or because a loved one doesn't believe? Or could it be that society told you it's impossible to achieve? So, so happy because the, the flat is so new. That's an incredible thing, it's a positive thing. So it's nice to know that they're also building something for the community as well. I'm excited for everyone to see what we're planning for Brent. Uh, why would we end up holding I don't know something? Is this a picture or a video?